go back to home. So now the next thing we want to do, now that we have multiple pages in our document, is create some interactivity so our client can actually start to click through this and do things. So over here on the left-hand area of the toolbar, all of our tools are broken up. They're broken up the same way inside of Photoshop and Illustrator as well. They just don't have labels on there. Um, all the vector tools up here, these are all the web tools, things that we can do for the web. So I'm going to come over here to this first angle and choose the rectangle hotspot tool. What this is going to do is allow me to draw on the canvas areas of interactivity. And what Fireworks is going to do is show me that artwork in that web layer and let me assign interactivity to what these pieces are going to do. So let me click on hotspot tool. I'm going to click and drag a hotspot area around cast. And then up here in the layers panel, I have my first item that's showing up under the web layer. So it's called the hotspot. And we can rename this if we want. Now in the properties panel, down here, what I can do is I can assign what happens. Come on. I can assign what happens when you when the user clicks on this hotspot. So down here we have a links drop-down menu. And in here, this is a little foreshadowing, are all of the different pages that this thing can link to. So I selected the cast, and notice this says cast.htm. When we export this from Fireworks, it's going to create HTML files for us that we can put up on our website. So basically, I want to say, if you click on cast, I'm going to select cast.htm and save this out. Let's do another hotspot, trailer. Uh, today's session is being recorded, by the way, and you guys will have access to a link to this in about a week, week and a half. So, um, so if you're having a hard time taking notes and, and watching, um, you will be able to go back and, and play me really slow motion speed. Listen to me for another six hours. You guys are so lucky. Um, so let's go to trailer. Let's come down and choose trailer HTM. Let's pick theaters. That's going to link to theaters. And lastly, let's grab the logo. The web police will totally get you if you don't link the logo to the home page. So let's grab the logo and let's link this to home.htm. Check these real quick. Home, cast, trailer, theaters. Excellent. When I switch to the cast page, notice that all of my links just went away. So again, Fireworks doesn't actually share items across multiple states or pages. The nice thing is, however, I can hold the Shift key, select all four of these. We're going to copy this, switch to page two, simply hit Paste, and Fireworks automatically does a paste in place. And in addition, it also keeps all the logic. So if I select each one of these items, you'll see in the Properties panel, each one of the items is linking to the same spot. So let's go to page three, paste, page four, paste. Now we're done. And that's the same for all the stuff. If you guys have um, played around with Flash Catalyst at all, Flash Catalyst also has an automatic paste in place as well. All the sort of macromedia side of the house applications all have that paste in place uh, built into the paste right out. So that can make this really fast. Set up one page, just go to the others and paste them real quick. OK, at this point, we're going to choose File Export. So we want to save this out as our prototype. I'm going to make a new folder called My Prototype. Down here in the Export Properties, we're going to choose HTML and Images. We want HTML files to go out. We didn't use any slices. We're going to talk about slices in a little bit. And by default, Fireworks will always go to current page. We want to change this to all page. And we can choose whether or not we put images in a subfolder or not. And now I'm going to click Export. Now the ridiculous thing is it's done already. <laughs> so we watched Photoshop sort of like, you know, flick through all the layers, panel to save it out. Fireworks saved it out that fast. So let's go out to the desktop. Here's the My Prototype folder. Let's just open that up. So here's what Fireworks wrote out. It made an HTML file for each one of these items, and then it made a GIF file for each one of the different page compositions. So let's grab home.html, double-click it, and bring it up inside of a web browser. So here we are inside of Safari. I can roll over cast. I can click it. I can click trailer. I can click theaters. I can click the logo, and it brings me back home. 